Okay, here we are, and we got Poppy here, and uh, she's doing her thing. So why don't you share with us, Poppy, what's going on here? Um, today we are in Bellingham, Washington. We are hitting the streets of Bellingham to teach people about their jury rights. Uh, we teamed up with a national organization. You can check them out at bija.org. And today we're basically hitting the streets and teaching people about jury rights, about jury nullification. Our main um, group of people that we're trying to reach are the citizens of Bellingham, and not necessarily the patients, but the citizens that are going to be called for jury duty when we go to uh, trial. Why don't we go ahead and go a little bit over as far as what's been the biggest challenge for you to get the attention of the people to go ahead and take this information? Um, well, a lot of people, you know, don't really want to hear about it. But when we tell them, you know, there's currently, you know, you have a... Sorry, can I restart that? <laughs> See that we are having are a lot of people saying, no, we don't want your information. But we kind of try to make it a little bit more personal by letting them know that when they get called to a jury, you have more than just the option of saying guilty or not guilty. You have a third option called called nullification. And if you choose to nullify, you are recognizing there was no victim in the crime and there, you know, no victim, no crime. These people should not be, have, you know, charges pressed against them. In my instance, with my case, all it takes is one juror out of the 12 jurors to say, I nullify. Washington State has legalized marijuana and it's unjust that we are charging this lady with medical marijuana charges. And so we are basically teaching people about that. Um, we're also teaching them that jury nullification can apply to any case it doesn't have to be just with cannabis but our main agenda is cannabis okay that's great now let's go ahead and uh, if you don't mind I'd like you to go ahead and share with us um, why this is so important for you because honestly you have a beautiful story here and I think the world needs to know would you mind um, or if you and if you want to hold back that's okay you know we can go ahead and I mean we can go ahead and hold back but let's go ahead and talk about culture because you know me I'm all about the culture <laughs> share with you why it's so important that we go ahead and share this information with our people as well um, so with our people a recent ACLU study said that black men are ten times more likely to go back to prison than a white man for drug offenses and so our people of color are victims of this failed drug war and so the most important thing is to teach the citizens about their jury rights to teach them about the laws and teach them how to, you know, the knowledge that they need to either convict or not convict somebody. And if we can prevent, you know, all these people going to prison for pot and teach people about our jury rights and about our medical marijuana laws here in our state, we can accomplish a whole lot and we can keep our people out of prison. Let's talk a little bit about the state of Colorado, okay? okay. And the reason I'm bringing up the state of Colorado is because people are moving like crazy to the state of Colorado. And, uh, you know, a lot of people think that they're moving there just because they can go ahead and enjoy the cannabis. But I really want to go over as far as why the parents are movie. We got fathers and mothers that are moving there to save their children. Go into that a little bit if you would please. So it's really interesting that you bring that up because here in Washington we have UW Medical and we have Swedish Medical down in Seattle. Those are some of the best medical facilities in the nation. But you have kids, parents who, ha you know, you have parents, kids who have epileptic, ep epileptic seizures or cancer or different types of illnesses and you see them running Sorry about that. It's yeah. okay. You see them running to Colorado. Why? Not because they can get medical, better medical procedures done there, because they have less strict and less regulations on their medical cannabis laws. Here in Washington State, they are so scared to move there with their children and start treatment with cancer for their children's illnesses or diseases that our medical laws might be going away. Right now, we're facing a crisis where we legalize marijuana, but they are trying to amend and change our medical cannabis laws. And it's just, you know, they should be running here because with the combination of an alternative treatment plan with cannabis and the cancer treatments or the epileptic seizure treatments you can have a whole a circle of a you know a cycle of treatment that's going to be complete instead of just using cannabis for your treatment and I mean I wish they were running here instead of Colorado but I will say Colorado has better medical marijuana laws than we do right now we got a beautiful young lady that, that represents up here in the Northwest uh, you know who I'm talking about up there in Oregon and that's brave Get me out of here. Who is that again? That's Brave, Brave Michaela. Yeah, she's a sweetie, isn't she? Yeah, and thank God her parents haven't moved to Colorado. They're sticking through with Oregon. I mean, Oregon does have medical cannabis laws that are being, you know, in the middle of being amended and changed and, you know, could be better, could be worse, but, you know, her parents are sticking true to their, count, or to their county and to their state instead of running to Colorado, which, I mean, ultimately, every state should have a good medical cannabis, you know, system going on, so people don't have to 
to run to a state that has better medical cannabis laws. It should be a universal, you know, standard and of ethics for medical cannabis. It's, it's interesting you say universal because we're strictly right now stuck on the whole subject of in the USA. Now we talked about culture and you know you know me I'm always talking about my raza because I am a Mexicano and I am proud of that and I am here to represent my people and I am here also to inform my people in our own language what we need to do to go ahead and take care of ourselves as far as patients, as far as a familia, as far as a community. Please do me a favor, share with me, if you don't mind, what your culture is and how you know you feel you could help. So on our next broadcast, we'll probably talk a lot more about the Hindu culture, but my father's side of the family, we are Hindu, and on my mother's side, we are Sikh. On my father's side, we uh, worship a Hindu goddess um, called the Mataji, and between the relationship of Mataji and her dark side of Kali Mata and Shiva, we have the relationship of where cannabis began, and it was Kali Mata who first brought cannabis to Shiva, so stay tuned because we'll have a whole episode about the history of Hinduism when it comes the hemp and cannabis. You know, and I, and I think it would not be right if we don't get a couple people in here. And so why don't we have Harmon come over here. Harmon. <laughs> now we have Harmon here and Harmon is a wonderful person and I say that because I actually know this guy. He makes me laugh and uh, his laughter is good for the heart. And Harmon also has his own ethnicity that he represents and we are here. Harmon, please share with us what you feel is important in this whole cause here. I think informing people such as ourselves about what their rights are as jurors is the most important message to give in this cause. Right. Um, most people who get called for jury duty are more focused on how they can get out of it because it's affecting their personal lives or the small amount of money they're being given for the day, the ten dollars to serve as a juror. But what we all forget is that our friends and our family members and um, the people that we do business with, and the people that um, are, are sick and dying, they all possibly could be in court for something that that some jurors might not think is illegal, even though the law says it is illegal. So what we're here to do, the single biggest message, is to inform people that besides guilty and not guilty, there's a big word called nullify. And what that means is if you're just one of the 11 jurors on the panel in this... What's that? 12. 12, excuse me. <laughs> if you're one of the 12, one out of the 11 says no. Yeah. Excuse me. Well, if you're one out of the 12 that says that you don't agree with the law, uh, guilty or not, then you can nullify it, and that person doesn't have to go to jail. Um, so that's what I'm here to do, is those share that are, message. Those are some great key points. Uh, now we're, we're talking about culture. Share with me a little bit as far as your, if you don't mind, uh, I'd like to ask you a little bit of as far as your ethnicity. I want to show that we got a diversity going on here. Well, uh, I've got Chippewa Indian in my family, in my mom's side, and, and uh, Canadian heritage. And then on my dad's side, we got German Jews. So we're all over the place. A little bit of everything. And he also speaks what language? I also speak Farsi, Yiddish, a little bit of Spanish, you name it. So it's all my Persian friends out there. That's the show my nullification. Very well. Now I'm gonna ask this young lady over here if she can hold the camera because I'm gonna go ahead and jump in here. Okay, and I want Harmon and Poppy there with me. Here we go. So go ahead and hold the camera. Hey, how's it going there? I am Senor Fumo. I am here to represent on a global scale. I think that this is the time that we need to speak out. We need to talk about jury notification. We need to spread the world, you know, uh, the word to the world. We have this going all over the, uh, all over this planet. Um, I have friends in Colombia right now, and I have other friends that are dealing with some pretty scary issues, all because of the fact that they want to go ahead and represent the good cause. We are here for that, and that's why we are here. I am here to represent these beautiful people. It's interesting that he brought up Canada because here you go, my brother, Remo, urban grower. We are here to represent my brothers and sisters up in the north. It's really sad what's happening to you people there. You know, we cannot believe that the Canadian government is actually thinking of importing the cannabis from another country. Come on, let's be real here, especially when you got some quality meds there. Take care of your people, keep the money in your country, give back to your citizens. That's what we got to say here, and I think that... Uh, we support you guys over Canada, too. So as Remo says, we stand by you. 
So here it goes in Espanol. Ahora toda mi gente, aquí estamos hablando solamente de, para ustedes, en los que queremos dirigir, es que ahorita es el momento que deben saber sus derechos. Eso quiere decir con uh, lo que dicen jury notification. Deben saber qué derechos tienen ustedes, porque sabes que ahorita está caraja la cosa, porque solamente no están buscando las personas que utilizan la marihuana, pero están buscando las personas de color. Por eso estamos aquí nosotros. Por favor, escúchenos, por favor, escríbanos. Si quieren hablar conmigo, ahí saben dónde me pueden encontrar en el YouTube, ¿no? Eso es todo, pero gracias, mi gente. Tenemos que representar. Adiós. Okay. No worries.